Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Wednesday, May the 13th, and it's 3.22 p.m. I got another article in my email that I thought you would like to hear about. Excuse me, I was eating some nuts. Good for you. Yesterday I inhaled one. I had to cough and cough and cough and it finally came up. <clears throat> so now <clears throat> my lungs are a little aggravated. Hopefully I won't start coughing in the middle of this. Anyway, it's the same publication. Came from the same person, Michelle. And it's FNW. What does that stand for? Let's see. Because the, the thing says Prophecy News Watch. Prophecy... It's got to be a P. It's kind of like, um, what do you call that? Uh, anyway, where it looks like part of it's washed away. It's not an F. It's a P. Prophecy News Watch. So there you go. Um, so you can go to prophecynewswatch.com slash article dot CFM question mark recent underscore news underscore i d equals four o four four if you cannot see the link in the description box the title of this is called welcome to the new economy quote contact tracer unquote and quote disease investigator unquote this is just another reason to know Jesus cannot be far away from coming, brothers and sisters. And this was done. Boy, this is really hard to read. Daisy Luther slash organic prepper. May 13th, 2020. All right. It says, share this article. For those who may have lost their jobs during the lockdown, it appears, Jasper, shh. It appears a whole new sector of jobs is, good boy, is opening up across the country. Cities and states are seeking, quote, contact tracers and disease investigators to track down anyone who may have COVID-19 or anyone who may have come in contact with people diagnosed with COVID-19. Boy, you know, this is so wonderful. They have never cared so much about us in all of our lives. Yeah, right. There are multiple job postings on Indeed.com, an employment-related search engine for job listings, job titles include Contact Tracer, Contact Tracing Supervisor, COVID-19 case investigator and communicable disease investigator. There you go. While some people find these positions to be necessary to public health, others find them invasive and meddlesome. What do you say? I'm in the ballpark of the second group. Invasive and meddlesome. Since when do they care if we got the flu in our home and might give it to the rest of our family? Who might give it to somebody else in the store? Who might then give it to somebody else somewhere else? I mean, things happen that way and that's just life, right? Let me move on. 
One of the most worrisome things about this is what kind of power is held by the tracers. Here, let me fix this. Okay. Yeah, I'm wearing my painting shirt again today. I am working on something. You see this old chair? My friend gave it to me. The arms are off, and I've test painted a little piece of it. And I decided it's going to be another week before I get my other sample container of paint. I decided I just got sample jars, 8 ounces. And the first one I got is kind of like pea soup green and a little light. So I've ordered a darker color. I'm going to mix them. And then I'll have 16 ounces of paint. You water it down because it's chalk paint. You can paint. I'm painting the fabric green. There's tutorials on YouTube if you want to learn how to do it. So that's why I'm wearing my painting shirt again. And I'm hoping to get the wooden part done tonight. So here we go. Where was I? The light is giving me a hard time here all right one of the most worrisome things about this is what kind of power is held by the tracers and investigators if they feel someone isn't quarantining properly and they report that person what happens next Ventura County California officials claimed they would remove people suffering from COVID from their homes if there was only one bathroom. A claim they've since walked back after public outrage ensued. Ventura County officials were forced Wednesday to apologize and clarify that those who could not isolate or quarantine themselves would never be forcibly removed from their homes as part of an effort to further contain the spread of the coronavirus. I mean, that sounds like something they would come up with like back in the first part of April, right? When it was all, you know, starting up. But now it's May. It's the middle of May, and they're coming up with this stuff. All right. If officials really want, want to see violence and unrest ensue, wait a minute, video circulated on social media showed Dr. Robert Levine, the director of Ventura County Public Health, speaking before the Board of Supervisors Tuesday about a plan to hire up to 50 new contact tracing investigators to, quote, find people who have COVID-19 and immediately isolate them, find every one of their contacts, make sure they stay quarantined, and check in with them every day, period, unquote. If officials really want to see violence and unrest ensue, forcibly hauling off an ailing loved one would be one surefire way to make it happen. What are contact tracers? Here's a little more about these jobs. This is scary, people. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ is your personal Savior, you better get on board and learn to know Him the way He wants. Figure it out. Get on your face before Him and call upon His holy name. New York State will hire and train a team of staff working remotely remotely to support the NYS, I guess that's New York State Department of Health, which is NYSDOH, and local health departments 
the LHDs, to perform COVID-19 contact tracing in communities across New York State. The aim of this initiative will be to call every person diagnosed with COVID-19, establish all contacts of this person, and proceed to call and maintain ongoing communication with every contact. That sounds absolutely ridiculous and a waste of money. You go and call these people every single day and all their contacts? Every contact, does that mean all the family members or if they've been to the neighbor's house, then that would include that neighbor and their whole family probably. What if they've been to the store and they somehow track down all let's say 12 people who were there because remember they're standing in line and they have to stay six feet apart no no that is not to chew on you know what that's for don't chew on those you pee on them yeah funny dog he's so funny alright this is important yes I'll play with you in a minute he knows how to get attention from me. Okay. So they're going to keep up with every contact. In addition, the team will support the isolation and quarantine of individuals as appropriate in cooperation with the LHD. Health Department. What was the L for? local health department. This includes virtual needs checks, virtual needs checks. Like, what do you need today? Oh, I need some orange juice and some Cheerios and milk. And, oh, by the way, I'm out of, I'm almost out of cough syrup. I need cough syrup. Yes, yes, we'll get you some right away. You think? All right. Their needs checked and referral to community resources as needed. This contact tracing initiative is in tandem with statewide wide efforts. That's what it says statewide dash wide efforts to increase testing, improve communication and knowledge of effective strategies to reduce transmission and implementation of isolation and quarantine. Effective strategies to reduce transmission and implementation of isolation and quarantine. Listen to the language. This will fortify efforts to control the pandemic in New York State. General Summary The contact tracer will use a web-based client resource management, a CRM, platform to call all contacts of anyone diagnosed with COVID-19 Determine exposure, assess symptoms, refer for testing according to established protocols, and provide them with instructions for isolation or quarantine. Contact tracers will maintain ongoing communication with contacts to assess symptoms ensure compliance with quarantine and determine social support needs and or handle reporting of issues that arise. Contact tracers are required to follow set scripts 
and adhere to policies and procedures provided by the New York State. They will also comply with department training regarding confidential information related to personal information. COVID-19 contact tracers will be required to work a minimum of 20 hours per week. Because when you're sick, who doesn't want to answer questions asked by someone reading from a script? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Who wants to be bothered every day by someone like that? Honestly. There are also postings for communicable disease investigators. Another even more invasive COVID-related job is communicable disease investigator, a position that Louisville, Kentucky is urgently seeking to fill. See, now we're getting to the, it's not just a, a, a county in California or the state of New York. Now we're talking about Louisville, Kentucky. All right. Crown Services Incorporated. Crown Services. Oh. Oh, how, what do you call it? Coincidental? Corona means crown and it's Crown Services Incorporated in Louisville is proud to accept applications for COVID-19 communicable disease investigators to join the fight against the novel coronavirus in our community. The work involves investigating situations concerning individuals who have been in contact with COVID-19, which could result in possible sources of infection. This includes locating patients of COVID-19 and persons with whom they have had contact. Oh my goodness, this is so ridiculous. Investig I mean, don't get me wrong. If, if this was the, what we saw happening in Wuhan, where persons were just dropping dead in the street, well, I think we all know they all got vaccinated by December 1st for something we didn't get yet vaccinated for, and they had their 5Gs cranked up and going. Well, was there a, is that a coincidence? It could be. I'm just throwing it out there that maybe they had a different strain than we have here. Who are dying here? Most of the people are folks that are dying of something else or at least they're immune compromised or they're elderly they already have a heart problem lungs lung problems kidney failures you know they got lots of stuff wrong with them so you add one more and you know they're going to die it could be influenza it could could be the H1N1 what i'm saying is they're more prone and susceptible Okay, well, let me see where I was. About the Crown Services in Louisville. Okay, the work involves investigating situations concerning individuals who have been in contact with COVID-19, which could result in possible sources of infection. This includes locating patients of COVID-19 and persons with whom they've had contact. Investigation procedures involve contacting various information sources such as welfare agencies, neighbors, hospitals, work locations, restaurants, and bars. See? 
finding out where all they've been and go there. We need a list of everyone who ate here Friday night. Can you see it? The investigator is primarily concerned with locating persons who should be examined for acute infection. General supervision is received from an administrative superior with leeway allowed for the exercise of independent judgment and initiative in carrying out the mandate of the Kentucky Department for Public Health. Certain assignments made to employees in this position will require reasonable access to transportation to meet field work requirements made in the ordinary course of business in a timely and efficient manner. Other companies are looking for case investigators and contact tracing supervisors. And don't forget the dystopian technology. Not only do sick or potentially sick people need to worry about being phoned or questioned by contact tracers, but there's also a whole new world of dystopian technology being rapidly developed. Apple and Google formed a partnership to develop a phone app with the potential to monitor one-third of the world's population. Gee, I wonder how they did that. How did they know how to do that? Do you know where all this technology comes from? I believe it comes from heaven, from the fallen angels. They've been teaching mankind stuff for a long time. And now look where we are, just in the last couple hundred years. The Australian government has developed an app called COVID Safe to, quote, protect you, your family and friends, and save the lives of other Australians. The more Australians connect to the COVID Safe app, the quicker we can find the virus, unquote. This is in Australia. In fact, all sorts of <clears throat> potentially invasive. <clears throat> Maybe a drink would help. <clears throat> all sorts of potentially invasive new technology tools are springing up to fight COVID. Some use AI to detect signs of COVID. And the Department of Defense is deploying thermal imaging to detect signs of COVID. Thermal imaging, that means like if you got a fever. Do you know how many things cause a fever? My gosh. I, I bet at any given point in time, 5% of the women in the United States alone are walking around with a UTI and a fever to go with it. Or, my mind is like blank, but there are so many causes of fever, it's ridiculous. All kinds of infections. You don't have to have COVID, but those people will be detected because they've come up with some kind of thermal imaging to detect signs of COVID. What if you got a normal, normal sinus infection, an ordinary kind of sinus infection, and it's bad enough to cause a fever? Well, they're going to pick up on that. 
and probably kind of sort of arrest you. Look, we need to have you checked out. Well, I'm not going. Yes, you need to go and get checked out for COVID. No, I'm not going. They will forcibly, I could see it happening. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's move on. These things won't just go away when the pandemic is over. If they're in use for a year or two years, however long this virus is with us, chances are they're here to stay. Originally published at Organic Prepper, reposted with permission. And it says at the top, share this article. Okay, so... I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, myself, my computer, and each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections. With that, I'm going to say bye for now. I'll talk to you later. Bye, my, my.